Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this extremely awesome theme from the new Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Okay, so, okay, this is very awesome, like this theme, I don't know, it's like really awesome, it's like a battle theme and it's really nice sounding as well. But anyway, here we go, alright, here we go, here's a preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson, it goes like this, this is the chorus section, it goes like this. Okay, it's really awesome. Let's go ahead and learn it. I'm gonna break it up to parts. Okay, so let's break it up into, uh, let me see. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's start. All right, so there's quite a lot of parts to this because um, there's a lot of notes. It's kind of fast for the right hand at times. So here we go. First part, it goes like this. Right hand starts on the C sharp. So I would actually play an octave higher, but I can't really, you can't really see the keys here. So um, it goes up pretty high. So let's go ahead and do the right hand an octave below near the middle C. So it goes C sharp up to the higher C sharp, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, E, B, C sharp, A. Just like that. Okay. All right, one more time for this first part. So it goes like this. Lower C sharp, higher C sharp, B, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, E, B, C sharp, A, like that for the right hand. Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that, the left hand, we have two chords for the first part. The two chords are F sharp minor, which is um, F sharp, A, and C sharp. And the second chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A. So with these two chords in mind, so F sharp minor, F sharp, A, C sharp, and D major, which is D, F sharp, A. The two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts off with the first three notes. And then A and F sharp minor together. C sharp and D major together. Like that, pretty awesome. One more time, it goes like this. Together. Like that. Alright, moving on. The second part continues. Right hand goes like this C sharp, B, A, G sharp, E, down to B. And it goes D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, like that. Okay, one more time for the right hand. So it goes like this for the second part. So it goes C sharp, B, A, G sharp, E, B. And then D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have quite a lot of chords here because the second half of it is like a lot of passing chords. Okay, but anyway, left hand, there are five chords here. The five chords are E major, which is E, G sharp, B. And then these next four chords are pretty fast changing. It goes B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. And then, um, let me go, um, C sharp major, which is C sharp, F, G sharp. And then D major, which is D, F sharp, A back to C-sharp major, which is C-sharp, F, G-sharp. All right, so with these five chords in mind, so E major, then we have four passing chords, which is B minor, C-sharp major, D major, C-sharp major, like that. Okay, the two hands together goes like this. Our right hand starts off first, it goes G-sharp and E major together. And then D and B minor together. Next chord together, together, together. So yeah, one more time, so it goes like this. Yeah, okay, actually it sounds a bit better for that um, third chord to be C sharp minor instead of C sharp major because it kind of clashes, okay? So change it to C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. So it goes E major, B minor, and then C sharp minor, and D major, then C sharp major instead, okay? So it sounds a bit better like that. But anyway, one more time, so it goes like this. Like that. Okay. Alright. So that's the second part. So so far, back to back, the first two parts that I've learned will be played like this. Okay, so it goes like this.
that's awesome, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and move on now. So the third part, right hand continues like this. It's kind of like similar to the first part in some motives. It goes A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and then changes here. It goes up to E, F sharp, and then E, A, like that. Okay, one more time for this third part. So it goes like this. A, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp, E, A, like that. Okay, that's the third part for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are the same two chords as the first part. So it's just F sharp minor, which is F sharp, A, C sharp, followed by D major, which once again, D, F sharp, A. So with these two chords in mind, the two hands together for this third part goes like this. It goes A and F sharp minor together. So it's together. C sharp and D major together. Like that. One more time. So it goes like this. Together. Together. Like that. All right. Moving on. Before we move on, actually, the three parts I've learned so far would be play like this. Check it out. Yeah, we did. Okay, so yeah, it was too awesome as that's why we have to go on. But anyway, yeah, but anyway, forget about that um, remaining five notes just then because we just <laughs> got too excited to go on. Okay, now let's learn the fourth part. Okay, so the fourth part, as we just played a little bit of it, right hand goes D, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, and then down to E, B, and then down uh, up to C sharp, D, E, F sharp. Okay. Let me see, okay, let me see. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. D, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, E, down to B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, like that. All right, so that is this uh, fourth part, okay? So let me see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, this is the fourth part. Let's go ahead and do that one more time for the right hand, so it goes D, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, E, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, like that for the right hand. Okay, once you get that, the left hand, two chords here, the two chords here for this fourth part, it's E major, which is E, G sharp, B, then followed by B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. So with these two chords in mind, so E major and B minor, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts off first with the first four notes, G sharp and E major together. F sharp and B minor together. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Together. Just like that for the fourth part, okay? So back to back, the four parts that we've played so far goes like this. To the fifth and last part of the song, right hand continues, it goes C sharp, D up to the highest C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, A, B up to E, and then up to F sharp, like that. And that's it for the right hand for this fifth and last part of this section. Okay, one more time, so right hand goes lower C sharp, D, higher C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, A, B up to E. F sharp, like that for the right hand, okay? So that's the fifth and last part for the right hand. Left hand, we have a bunch of uh, passing chords, five chords here. So the five chords are, okay, C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp, followed by D major, passing D, F sharp, A, passing to E major, which is E, G sharp, B, and then these are just like not passing chords, it's just like remaining chords for this. It goes F sharp suspension four, which is F sharp, B, C sharp, followed by F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Okay, so with these five chords in mind, so C sharp minor, D major, E major, F sharp suspension four, and then F sharp major, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts off with the, like, um, right hand, goes da, 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 and then B and C sharp minor together. F sharp and D major together. B and E major together. F sharp and F sharp suspension four together. F sharp major by itself, like that. One more time, so it goes like this. The right hand goes 
That's it, okay? So back to back, the whole thing kind of goes like this, okay? I'll play the right hand one octave higher because it's, I reckon it sounds a bit better up there. Okay, it goes like this. pretty much it okay i hope you enjoyed learning this tutorial go ahead and check my full cover of this song i did an entire cover of this song really awesome song all of the sections are very awesome and then i made it like obviously a bit more like improvised than this i added more stuff on the uh left hand chords well not really it's still based on the chords but it's just like more arpeggios and the right hand is like just a bit more um thicker and stuff for example like that okay I just played a bit of incorrect stuff there but yeah you get the point it says more thicker etc that kind of feel to it so good should go ahead and check out that cover maybe to get some inspiration there but anyway still everything is based on the melody and chords that I taught you in this lesson nothing more or less but it's just all improvisations that I teach as well on my or website courses but go ahead and check out my website courses as well in the description below and as for now i guess yeah enjoy your time around my channel checking out all my other piano covers and tutorials I have over 2000 and yeah enjoy and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.